Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. I went through the divorce, and when that happened, um, I had all my friends that said, you know, uh, God was never going to use you again. Actually, I grew up pretty boring. <laughs> you know, I never drank, I never smoked, uh, never got in trouble, I obeyed my parents, I didn't get in trouble at school, I didn't make bad grades. You know, I lived really, I guess you would call a boring life, and yet, I felt called from an early age to, to serve God, uh, to give my life to the Lord. All my life I had been raised and thought I was gonna be a minister of music in a Baptist church. My first wife told me she did not like the ministry and she literally said, I needed to be willing to give up the ministry. And I said, well, you know, when we got married, I, this is what I told you I felt called to do is to be in the ministry. So, you know, this is who I am. And, and then, believe it or not, I was going through finals, attending Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, working on my master's degree in, in, in the middle of finals. And right in the middle of that, my, my first wife left. She just walked away, left, and, and said she's never coming back. Right after the divorce, I, all my Baptist friends told me, they said, As for, since you're a Baptist, and Baptist, you can't be divorced and be in ministry. Now, I understand today it's a little bit different, but back then you couldn't be in ministry and be divorced. And even though I didn't want to be divorced, that's the way it was. So they just said, you know, be a salesman. You'll make a good salesman out of that situation, out of that uh, pain in my heart and my life. I got hungry for God and I realized, you know, I needed him more than ever. And I never will forget one night I uh, was hungry for God and I said, God, I've come to you, no holds barred, I'll give you my whole life. And I had to almost chuckle, you know, because you know, I'm giving him my whole life. Well, I had nothing, you know, I'd lost everything that I knew. I'd lost my family, my children, my ministry, everything. And I thought, you know, what am I giving to the Lord? But I'm giving him my heart, I'm giving him my life. I began to study God's Word, literally. I, I would get up in the morning hungry for God's Word, studying. I would go to sleep studying, and I was just so full of the Word of God. I just hungered for the Word of God to know Him. And what would happen when I, then I, when I would go to sing, I was supposed to schedule to sing someplace. Instead of singing, I would start sharing the Word. And they almost got mad at me because, you know, they had thought I was going to come to the church and sing. Because up to that point, everything was music. I made records and everything started switching. Everything started changing in my life. I started leaning toward preaching the word and sharing the word and studying God's word. And I didn't really understand what God was doing in my life, but I, I knew God was doing something different in my life. And then all of a sudden I met uh, my wife, Vicki, today. Uh, we've been married over 35 years and we've been so happy it's been such a great experience she's been the love of my life and we met fell in love and four months later we were married and it was such a exciting thing for me because she had a heart for ministry she loved ministry she felt called to ministry and I told her when we got married I said honey I don't know exactly what we're gonna do but it will be exciting I guarantee it'll be exciting and uh, one thing led to another. We began the church, Living Word Church, 1979. And wow, now, you know, we drive up to the church that we have now, the new facility, and I tell you, I'm, I'm 
absolutely amazed at the amazing grace of God. Look what God has done in Vicki and I's life. Look what God has done and all the things that he's done. But, you know, he pruned away. He changed my life from, from music to preaching the word. And at the time, I, I, I didn't understand what God was doing. But today I realize that was always God's call for my life. It was always what he wanted me to do. And when I get up and preach today, it is the thing that I know that I, I love to do more than anything else. It is what I live for. I love to do it. And like Vicki says, it was what you were born to do. You know, you were born to do this. And I, I you know, I really believe that.